Earth, the globe, Terra, our world. No matter what you call planet Earth, it is our home. In the small span of time the Homo sapien has existed, we have made profound impacts on the condition of our planet. From the depths of the jungle to the heights of the mountaintops, the human footprint is encountered across the expanse of the globe. One of the most prolific impacts humanity has had on our world lies in our oceans. Human waste, specifically plastics, have built up in our oceans, posing an imminent threat not only to nature, but to humans as well. A joyous day, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mark Justine B. Good, together with my co-researchers, Gio Lagon Aaron Jude, Gomez Renzo Luis, Gomez Justin Harold, Francisco Canon Ace, and Gadgete Andre Gwen. I am here to showcase and talk about our research proposal entitled Improvised Concrete Ingredient, Combination of Ground Plastic Waste and Coconut Shell as a Potential Substitution to Fine Aggregate. Moreover, the researchers noticed that concrete is the most widely used man-made substance in the building sector. In fact, it is the second most used thing on the planet after water. Also, plastic debris and coconut shells are excellent resources that can be used as a fine aggregate alternative in concrete, thereby considerably reducing the risk associated with plastic circulation in our community. To state some of the dilemmas in our environment due to plastic waste, the researchers can tell that plastic trash disposal is a major issue since due to lack of organic compounds, it is a non-decomposable material that poses a threat to our ecosystem and poses numerous health risks. In other regards, countries like the Philippines are among the world's greatest coconut producers with a coconut growing area of roughly 2 million hectares. Coconut shell as a byproduct of coconuts are a waste product which mostly produced in industrial and agricultural activities and it has caused disposal and management issues that have resulted in major pollution concerns. Additionally, many researchers are looking for ways to replace fine aggregate to save money and have a long-term development of a concrete. To bring light to a prevalent problem including pollution, environmental risk, and general development of concrete by making it more durable and cost-effective. The researchers, therefore, are persuaded to conduct this research study which focuses on developing an improvised fine aggregate as one of the concrete mixture ingredients by substituting it with a mixture of ground plastic waste and coconut shell in which potentially resulting in a stable, durable, and high tensile strength block of concrete. The objective of this research is to compare the compressive strength of improvised concrete to that of standard concrete, to compare the split tensile strength of improvised concrete to standard concrete, to assess the flexural strength of improvised concrete to standard concrete, and to determine whether improvised concrete is more durable than standard concrete. In the related researches that being used to support this study, some of it are presented on the slide. As for example, the study of OC 2014 which is about the effects of alternative fine aggregate to the environment wherein he found out that plastic and coconut shells can be a good mix to lessen certain environmental hazards. There are other notable studies that have contributed to the development of this research. Methodology This chapter explains the processes and research design that will be used to analyze the data collected in order to see if the improvised concrete is more durable than standard concrete. The researchers will mostly use experimental design in this study. One shot case under pre-experimental design in particular would serve as a guide for undertaking any experimental trial. Every concrete sample is examined for the influence of its durability. 
which is thought to be the cause of change. By comparing the samples, analytically, one of the two concrete samples is determined to be more durable than the other samples after the experimental investigation. The experimental procedures and testing will take place at Lot 32, Block 8, Phase 3, Kasisang Malaybalay City, Bukidnon, Philippines, which can be seen in Google Map in Figure 1, under strict laboratory safety conditions. Also, all necessary items will be purchased at LC Hardware, 44XM plus 5JX, Kasisang Malaybalay City, Bukidnon, Philippines that can be seen also in figure 2. The materials that will be used throughout the experiment are the following. Plastic waste. This will be used as one of the mixtures of the fine aggregate to be used in improvised concrete. Coconut shell. Together with plastic waste, coconut shells are also one of the mixtures of fine aggregate to be used in improvised concrete. Hydraulic press machine. This hydraulic press machine is an equipment that is significantly used for durability tests. Adjustable grinder machine. To have an even diameter of ground plastic waste and coconut shell that is less than 4.75 mm, an adjustable grinder machine is the right equipment to be used. Large tin can. This will be used as a container for mixed concrete in the heating process. Firewood. These firewoods will be used for producing fire in the heating process. Concrete mixtures. Aside from fine aggregate, which is the combination ground plastic and coconut shells, water, coarse aggregate, that is a gravel, and cement are needed to make concrete. In standard concrete, Sand is the mixture to be used for fine aggregate. The data for this study will be gathered mostly through experimental observation. The researchers will begin by collecting plastic debris and coconut shells in order to execute the entire experiment. Plastic debris and coconut shells will be collected in Kasisang, Malaybalay City, Bukidnon, Philippines from any residential areas. Second, the gathered plastic waste materials must be separated with hard and plastics and soft plastics must separated in different ways. After that, grind the soft plastics, hard plastics, and coconut shells separately to a diameter of less than 4.75 mm. Then, using the planned ratio of mixes, thoroughly mix all the concrete mixtures including the improvised fine aggregate. Concrete molds are formed that is cylindrical, cubical, and rectangular beam. These different forms of concrete molds will specifically be used for molding both improvised concrete and standard concrete. The different types of forms each indicates the different durability tests to conduct. Cylindrical concrete mold is for split tensile strength test. Cubical form is for compression strength test. And for rectangular beam concrete molds designed for flexural strength tests. For the regular concrete, prepare the other set of concrete combinations as well. Place the combined makeshift concrete mixes in the hot tin can to ensure that all of the components are fused together securely. Make two sets of molding with the various types of concrete molds. In this study, the statistical treatment of data is essential in order to make proper use of data. The mean and t-test will be employed in this study as statistical tools. For determining the average mixture ratio of a specific concrete, the mean will be employed. Also, the t-test will be utilized to determine whether there is a significant difference in the durability test between improvised and regular concrete. To conclude, if this study can show that improvised concrete is more durable than standard concrete, it would be a huge contribution in addressing building, industrial, residential, and environmental problems, as concrete is extensively utilized as a construction material across the world. I think it is time to wrap up this presentation. Again, this is Mark Justony B. Good, together with my co-researchers, Geolagon Aaron Jude, Gomez Renzo Luis, Gomez Justin Harold, 
Francesco Canan Ace, and Gadgete Andre Gwen. We are delighted to say thank you for listening. I hope you learned something to this research proposal. God bless and stay safe always.